you guys are going to get a huge uh, upper body with this workout i'm going to show you i'm going to show you a cool pull based uh upper body workout i'm in an upper lower type of split uh check this out so i've got lots of things coming and going constantly tons of cool stuff to show you um just to give you a little foretaste that's that fortis fitness wall squad i showed in the youtube short check out this nautilus explode refurb uh, i just used it for the first time yesterday All right, so we're going to start with the lat isolator machine from Cross Axis. This is a phenomenal machine. Um, I love doing this to sort of open up the lats, expand the rib cage, and just get it ready for a pull workout. I find uh, sometimes a pullover movement or this type of movement um, actually is perfect to do to prime the upper body uh, for a set or two, almost as a warm up to stretch things out to get the nerve and uh, muscle fibers activated to get the nervous system ready to hit those extreme stretch positions. The cool thing is this hits the stretch phenomenally and there's a beautiful contraction. So very similar to the Nautilus behind the neck. It's a slightly wider arc of excursion. Um, and this is only used one arm at a time, whereas the uh, Nautilus behind the neck is used two arms at a time. It's got a much shorter arc of motion, but this is a phenomenal movement or a pullover type movement. One arm at a time is what I like to do sometimes just to open up the back and get everything primed. Then we'll move to a one-arm uh, sort of lat-based row. This is the Panada uh, low row or super low row. Um, cool machine, the handles rotate. Um, I've used this for several times. This is the best way to use it. Stand in front of the machine, don't sit at it, and put your elbow right there. The reason is you get a phenomenal stretch. It, it maximizes the, the natural strength curve of the machine, and there's a nice taper and contraction at the very top of the movement. But it makes the stretch much better and actually lets you finish the movement without having to use momentum. Uh, just using this for a while, this is the best way to use it, almost as a standing one arm uh, row as opposed to a seated row. Uh, but a great strength curve on this, a phenomenal feel with leverage on this Panada. So just a one arm row to get things warmed up. I've been mostly kind of doing a warm up set and then sort of one really hard working set uh, just to make sure I don't overdo it on volume because back is one of those. Uh, body parts, I tend to overdo it sometimes um, and get sore and try to do too much at once. And sort of the main uh, upper back movement is this uh, bent over row movement on the Strive Extreme Row. Uh, I showed this when I reviewed this machine before. This is still my favorite way to use it with the traditional bench. You're literally standing and kneeling in front of it just barely putting a teeny bit of pressure on that pad using a band at the end range and a lot of weight in the beginning and then nothing in the middle but the the band on it really makes it feel phenomenal so i do one set neutral handle one set semi supinated handle i've kind of modified this a while ago i showed you this before uh, fantastic machine i use this actually much more than i used the strive uh, seated row uh, just because it's got so many different variations and there's weight horns on both sides as opposed to one side like the Strive Seated Row. But this is just a phenomenal movement, a phenomenal way to use this machine. Do a one-arm pull-down on this uh, custom standing pull-down. So this is a really cool way. Modify this Tough Stuff uh, Leverage Seated Row. So it's you can do it seated or standing. These are the Medex handles. So I'm just doing one arm, underarm, underarm, excuse me, underhand uh, set. And then one prime handle set. Uh, just a phenomenal feel on this. The strength curve is excellent because it utilizes the leverage of the original machine. Um, and you've got the rotatory capacity of the Medex handles. And then this is me doing it with a prime handle. So I like to just kind of do under control one arm at a time, really get in that squeeze and focusing on feeling and engaging the lat fibers, the entire range of motion. Uh, but you guys come to my gym, you guys will have to try this out. It's it's a one-of-a-kind, uh, really, really cool machine. This is me kind of just grabbing my fibers. I just like to do that sometime and just really keep the stretch and the contraction uh, optimal and ideal. Uh, but the cool thing is you can actually stand. It's really meant to be done one arm at a time as opposed to two, so you can get full lat shortening. Very hard to shorten the lat fully, uh, doing two arms at a time sometimes. So unilateral pull-down movement is, uh, is good to program into your normal uh, program.
That thing hits absolutely perfectly. Then we're gonna do a superset with a prime pullover modified to a, a standing lap pair. This is a cool prime machine. I think I showed this on Instagram, I haven't showed it here. I added a couple of handles and a seatbelt, which makes this thing phenomenal. Um, I'm doing supersetting an underhand semi supinated grip to like uh, no elbow pad, extended elbow uh, type grip. Finally getting the feel for this uh, really cool machine. I use it almost exclusively in setting three just to maximize stretch. Um, but it's nice to have in my arsenal. You recently got another pullover machine, so I'm about ready to do a full review of all the pullovers I have and kind of rank them. Um, but I need a little bit more time with a few others. But these modifications really transform this machine. So this grip right here, actually, with your elbows off the pads, grabbing the front of the bar uh, feels phenomenal. It's very similar to the Atlantis uh, pullover in the grip. Uh, because you get a slightly longer arc of excursion and it really lengthens it. And then we're doing a, sort of a standing lap prayer. Uh, sometimes I'll do this on a machine. This is on the Strive Medical pull downs row machine. Uh, really with an emphasis on the beginning range. The cool thing with this machine is you can program where it's heavy and where it gets light. There's, there's an infinite number of variations on this. I think I've showed this on here before. Uh, this is the machine I love to do seated one arm rows and seated one arm pull downs on. Uh, there's just the technology is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the stretch on this is crazy, a good contraction. I'm getting the full length of the movement. Then I'm just ending uh, the back portion with a little bit of a weighted stretch for time. Maybe 60 pounds on here, I think 70 pounds, just kind of doing a dead hang, a little bit of a dead hang with my feet in front of me to really maximize stretch of the lats. And a little bit of a uh, little bit of flexing uh, at the end as well. All right, so I've showed this on here before, but I want you guys to do that have this machine. The main benefit of this machine is this: go from the main, you know, it's totally aligned straight, and bring it all the way over as far as it'll go on that side and on that side. As I told you there, I like to use this machine with a pre-stretch. The, the beauty of this machine is uh, you get crazy pre-stretch. You just don't get that on any other uh, lateral raise machine. I'm just doing a couple touch-up sets for shoulders. Um, I superset from kneeling to standing. So the cool thing with this machine is the range of motion. Notice how high I come. I try to come as high as possible. Uh, I actually find lateral raise machines with a, a straight round cam work better than the ones that are kind of ovular or oblong or even to have a counterweight on them uh, because they give you that top range of motion. And it, so it's more than just a lateral raise. It's almost like a loo raise, but it's my preferred way to do a lateral raise. Uh, you're getting some trap involvement at the top, but uh, just a much different stimulus. Uh, when you come all the way, way above uh, 90 degrees, and then you can see I'm kind of fatigued and I do half reps, uh, but just notice the range of motion, how high I come. I still prefer to use it with handles like this. Just feels better, gives me slight more uh, freedom of movement. Uh, but really uh, like this machine for supersets like this. So I just did my shoulder touch up, just two uh, drop sets. But since I just barely got a new machine, I gotta do at least one set. So just got this machine and had to do a set or two just to see how it feels. Actually smoother than I thought it would be. Um, I think with a couple simple modifications, this thing will be uh, just legendary. Kind of playing around facing in the machine to facing out of the machine. So just using it this one time, it's 10 times better with your arms extended like this than it is grabbing those handles. Notice the difference in range of motion with my arms like this to where I grab the handles here in just a second. Even with just one use, um, don't use the handles like they're horrible. Like your range of motion is crap and the arc of uh, excursion of the movement is way different. That felt good. Uh, I can't wait to make that an A plus machine. I'm gonna finish with just one bicep and one tricep movement. I find uh, low volume, high frequency arms works best. I still kind of chuckle that people do full arm days uh, and that's all they do because it just kind of, I don't know, it just, 
I, I find that this small muscle arm works best with high frequency, low volume. So this is the Nautilus Nitro bicep curl, a uh, great machine. Um, honestly, comparable, if not superior to the old school Nautilus spider cam. The old school Nautilus spider cam is a cool collectible piece, but this I think is more functional. It's got belt and it's got a better cam. The old school Nautilus one is, the, the cam is way too hard at the end. So I like to have my elbow off. I'm, I'm turned to the side. You can see my way, I'm kind of shifted to the side and I'm getting full shoulder flexion when I do the movement. And then we're gonna to go to the Nautilus Nitro tricep. The corollary piece, fantastic movement. You can see I've shown this before. I kind of turned to the side, my elbow's off the pad. Uh, my back pad's all the way out and I'm leaned forward and I'm getting that maximum stretch of the tricep. You can, you can see I'm starting the movement both with this tricep and that bicep movement I, I showed you and sh full shoulder flexion. So I can't stretch that uh, muscle anymore. Just the crazy stretch on both of these machines is uh, is phenomenal. So similar to the, to the bicep, I have my elbow off the pad. I have the back pad advanced all the way up. Um, and just two to three sets max with this uh, is all I need for, for arms. And again, I like to train them two to three times a week. Low volume, high frequency, I just find the smaller body part like arms works better that way than dedicating an entire day uh, and just training them like once a week only. But look at that stretch on that. It's just a phenomenal stretch on this machine. Turn to the side a little bit, it's just golden. Check out this modified legend dip, this new weight horn. Top three. Uh, so I'd actually love to film uh, more full body work more full workouts it's just kind of a pain because it's just me i don't have a freaking youtube team these people have these full-time youtube teams with professionals that edit it and everything else in the right lighting to make them look bigger than they really are to make them look more ripped than they really are in the right lighting so that somehow you watch because they're more muscular than you or they're better than you and i so i'm still learning this game it's just for fun um but it's sometimes challenging for me because there's a ton of stuff I'd love to show you. I just have limited time resources and everything Let else. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe below. Have an awesome day. Would love your support if you subscribe so I can keep making content like this so it incentivizes me to do it because um, I'm just doing it just for fun.